Unified Champions is a club that runs the unified organization here on campus. We're a unified champion school, which means that we have been nationally recognized for our inclusion of students with and without intellectual and developmental disabilities. The reason that Hendrickson was approached to become a unified champion school is that we were already meeting eight out of the 10 standards just organically without even knowing that this was a, a a thing in the world, which was really, really cool. That means that we just naturally were really good at including everybody on our campus. That's a really special thing. Unified is geared towards going outside of the scope of just sports to including all over the place. So when we can do it in theater, when we can do it in choir and band, and our art class is definitely very inclusive, then it promotes the inclusion to everybody. It's just that they're a part of the school and they're not just in their one area, which is really what special education has looked like for a really long time. So this just brings them out into being a part of the school like everybody else. When we came to Hendrickson and they began the Unified Champion, we saw such a big difference in his confidence level, um, in his personality just getting to come out um, and nobody correcting it or kind of looking at him differently for that, but just really enjoying and embracing all of who he is and what he can bring to the table. I describe it as a place where everyone can just uh, has to come together, no matter what you are or how, what differences you got. I just see a place that, where it's like a huge family. Yet uh, I have to say, it helped to give me uh, new experiences. I never thought I'd uh, he'd experienced before. Going out to uh, places, doing some things. I never thought I'd uh, they would do. Man, that's awesome. So when I first came to Hendrickson in 2014, I, I thought, wow, this is a really inclusive school. But it was once we started doing, participating in the Unified Champions that I saw, like, it wasn't just a group of kids. It became the community. It became the school culture to always include everyone in everything that we do. So um, that, that, that's the, the best thing about it. And what we do that I think uh, works well is we have the students really take control of the experience um, and the events that take place on unified nights and I think having kids lead it instead of the adults makes it authentic and makes the the kids really have an exciting experience that you know, if I came up with an idea, it might not be as good as, as what the kids come up with. Every Friday Talent, we go and we usually have a little meeting discussing the events coming up um, and different things that we have to be at. And then we just get to hang out with the kids and we'll go to the gym and play sports. Or we'll go outside, we'll play board games, we'll read, just whatever they want to do really. I think they've come to really realize how much ability um, our students do have and the word disability is in there but our kids have a lot of abilities and I see that the gen ed kids really um, are seeing that and they get quite amazed at their abilities to do things. I think we'll continue to move forward and we'll just be a better example for everybody in the surrounding districts and in our own district and um, I think we'll only continue to get better. Um, well we were one of the top five um, as ESPN let us know a couple of years ago. We were the first and we're the best and we're going to stay the best.